These next few examples all deal with complicated expressions. Now there are two things we need to remember when dealing with these expressions. The first thing is when multiplication occurs, order does not matter. For example, in our first question, we have x to the power of 2 times y to the power of 7. Now this would be the same as saying y to the power of 7 times x to the power of 2. Because I reverse the numbers, it doesn't really matter. We still get the same answer in the end. So therefore, order does not matter. Our second rule to remember is any powers with the same base can be added or subtracted. So now that we know these two rules, let's get on with our first example. We have x to the power of 2 times y to the power of 7 all over y to the power of 4. Now the only variables with the same base are this y and this y. So that means these are the only numbers that we have to deal with. So we have x to the power of 2 and y, and because this is division, we subtract the exponents. So we have 7 minus 4. So we're left with x squared times y to the power of 7 minus 4, which gives us 3. So our final answer is x to the power of 2 times y to the power of 3. Our second example, we have 2 times x to the power of 3 times a to the power of 5 times x to the power of 2 all over a to the power of 3. Now this x and this x have the same base, and this a and this a have the same base. So therefore, these are the only two sets of numbers that we have to add and subtract together. So the 2 stays the same, and then our x is multiplication, so we add the exponents, and our a's are division, so we subtract the exponents. So we're left with 2 times x to the power of 5 times a to the power of 2 as our final answer. Now moving on, we have x to the power of 3 times b to the power of 2 times x to the power of 11 times b to the power of 3 all over x to the power of 2 times b to the power of 3. And we can see this x, this x, and this x all have the same base, and this b all has the same base as well. So that means these two sets of numbers, we can apply addition and subtraction. So for this x, we have multiplication on the top, and then we have to divide it by x squared. So that means we have to add 3 and 11, and then subtract 2 from it. So we have x to the power of 3 plus 11 minus 2. And then for our b's, we also have multiplication and division. So that means we have b to the power of 2 plus 3, all minus 3. So then we have to add these exponents together. And we have x to the power of 3 plus 11 is 14, minus 2 gives us 12. And then b to the power of 2 plus 3 minus 3, we just are left with 2. So our final answer is x to the power of 12 times b to the power of 2. For our example down here, we have 3 times a to the 2, times y to the 12, times a to the 4, z to the 3, all over y to the 9 times z. Now, if we group our like terms, we have this a and this a with the same base, this y and this y with the same base, and this z and this z with the same base. So first, let's deal with the a's. We have 3 times a to the power of 2 plus 4, because it's multiplication, times y, and y deals with division, so we subtract the exponents. And then we have z that also deals with division, so we subtract the exponents again. So we're left with 3 times a to the 6, y to the 3, and z to the 2 as our final answer. Next we move on to x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 4 all over y to the power of 12 times y to the power of 7. Now, everything on the numerator has the same base, and everything on the denominator has the same base. So this makes it easy on us. We have x to the power of 2 plus 3 plus 4, because it deals with multiplication. And then we divide all of this by y to the power of 12 plus 7. Now, we want to add our exponents on the bottom, because even though it's on the bottom of the denominator, we are still multiplying these two y's together. So therefore, we add the exponents. And we're left with our final answer of x to the power of 9 all over y to the power of 19 as our final answer. Moving on to our last example, we have x to the power of 4 times z to the power of 2 times b to the power of 21 times z to the power of 4 all over 3 to the power of 2 times b to the power of 11 times c to the 4. Now again, let's group our like terms. We have this z and this z with the same base, and then this b and this b with the same base. So we're left with x to the power of 4 
times z, because it's multiplied together, we add the exponents, 2 plus 4, times b, and because they're divided, we subtract the exponents, all over 3 to the power of 2 is the same as 3 times 3, and then we're left with c to the power of 4. So now we have x to the power of 4 times z to the power of 6 times b to the power of 10 all over 3 times 3, which is 9, times c to the power of 4 as our final answer.